What is up, YouTube? So, Christmas 2019, my dad bought my kids these controllers for <clears throat> in hopes that I could get them to work with my Fire TV stick. I have a third gen, but it shouldn't matter. Any uh, Fire TV stick or Android device, anything that uh, accepts a Bluetooth controller, this thing should uh, sync up to it. So I was having issues with pairing it. And I watched some different videos online and stuff, and I uh, didn't really find anything on there that was real great about showing people how to do this. So I'm going to do a real quick one here to show you guys how I got these to work on my Fire Stick. So real quickly, I just hold down the Home button. That's how I quickly get to my Settings option. Let's go over to Settings. And obviously, I just go down and go over to my Bluetooth or controllers and Bluetooth devices. Now, they tell you on the tutorial for these things that you want to go to game controllers to sync them, but that doesn't work for these apparently. So I went to other Bluetooth devices and I click on that. I would go to add Bluetooth devices. Now to get this controller to pair and to be discoverable on the fire stick, you need to first hold down the X button. After you hold down the X button, then hold down the home button just till it starts flashing like that. Okay. Now it should find it, and it should be discovered <clears throat> on this screen. We will find out. If this one doesn't, then I'm thinking that this one is low on batteries, and I'll have to try the other controller. But I've already had both of these synced in before. I just unpaired them um, for the sake of making this video to show you guys. So... What they say is um, to hold down the home button for 10 seconds. So I'm doing that right now. If you do that, all that happens is this thing just shuts right off. Okay. And you hit it again, it'll keep doing that. See, you hold it down. You can hold it down for 10 seconds because all it does is shut off, obviously. So what I did is I just held down X first. X, I hold down the home button. And wait till it starts flashing a little bit. We'll see what happens here. See that one shut off. We'll try it again here. Hold down X. Pull down the home button. So it's flashing. I'm gonna let go of it. Like maybe like two seconds. Well, that was nice. <laughs> Let's try this one. Hold down X. Hit the home button. Okay, apparently it's not finding it. So I'm thinking that when you first do this, <clears throat> when you first add these, you're gonna have to add them by going to other Bluetooth devices. But I think that since my uh, Fire Stick now already had them connected at one point in time, I could probably go into here and do it through na new game controller now. I don't know. See now, that, yep, see, it's showing it that it's still there. Even though that I unpaired it already, now it knows that it's a controller, so it puts it into this, you know, into this right here, the game controllers. When you add this the first time, you're going to have to add it in this option, other Bluetooth devices, and it will pair up and it will work. Mine won't pair up through this, through this option anymore because I already paired them both before, so now I will have to go here now to repair them. See that? This is add new game controller. And I would do it through here now. But anyway, I'm just letting you know that's how I got mine to work. I held down the X button. Then I hit home. Starts flashing like this. And you're good to go. It'll find it. And you can pair it up. And they work beautiful. So. And you can also uh, use this uh, controller as an actual controller for your, uh, for your Fire Stick too. Which is awesome. It'll work like a remote control. So there it is. I just got it to pair up. It's right there. So you guys can see the proof that it works. So there it says Amazon TV game controller. And it says battery online. Press the three lines to unpair. So that's this one right here that I just did. And then if you hit this button, it should go to the second player. So if you have it and you're using it, you're like, oh, how come this doesn't work? Ah, oh, it's not working. Hit this button one time. It'll take you back over to first player. And now it'll work. See that? And you can use this. You can basically take this now and do that. Because this thing's pretty slick. 
And then if you're still having issues, uh, they do make a fire called My Fire TV. It's an app on uh, the Play Store, and you can use your cell phone as long as you're using the same Wi-Fi on your phone as you are with your device. You can use that app, and it works wonderful. There's actually an on on-screen keyboard and stuff. You can talk into it, so you don't have to sit here and you know click each single little letter on the screen. You can use your your phone that way. But this one, you know, B will take you back. You know, use this. So toggle, all that. So it is pretty slick, my friends. I guess these were called the T3 or the Terios 3. So basically the cheapo uh, controller from China. I don't know what he paid. I think these were pretty cheap though. But I mean, this thing works great. They have good battery life. They each came with a charger cord like this. Um, <clears throat> if you want to stick around for, for a minute, I'll show you this. Otherwise, I uh, hope you guys this helped somebody out there. So I was getting pretty frustrated. I couldn't get these to pair up. So what I have, I don't know if you can see this or not. I'll just unplug it so I can show you. Um, my dad and I got one of these online and if you haven't got one of these this is really slick I suggest getting one but this is it's just like a little thing that plugs in to your fire stick and then from there it plugs into this little power cord right down here where my pinky is this little thing is the power cord that it plugs into and that just runs back and plugs into the wall and now what that lets you do is it has three spots where you can plug in things like a, you know a mouse you can plug in some memory cards in there. Um, I plugged in the chargers for these remotes, so I can charge them right out right through my Fire Stick. <clears throat> and then this one, what well, the cool thing about this is, it also has a spot for your internet connection, so you can just plug right in, and you can you don't have to hit Wi-Fi anymore. You can be directly connected now. So I mean, this thing was slick. This is ten bucks on on Amazon. My dad found this one and ordered it for me, and it is slick. So. The name brand of this one is called, I don't know if I'll focus now, stupid camera. It's called Digit Cont, D-I-G-I-T-C-O-N-T. -I -I so, <clears throat> I'm not going to put a link in the description for this because I don't even know if I can still find out the exact one that he got. But I mean, if you go on Amazon, they got a ton of them on there. It's ridiculous. Just make sure that you go down to the description of the product and it will tell you if it's uh, compatible with your device. And this one was uh, compatible with like just about every fire stick out there. It's pretty nice. So like I said, I'm not going to make this video any longer. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and hopefully this helps somebody out there. Leave some uh, descriptions or comments below and I'll try and answer any questions you guys have. Bye-bye.